Hey guys, we're back. Variance Gaming here. We're going to be playing The Sinking City. Just came out. Hopefully, we're going to enjoy it. The trailer and everything looked insanely cool. So, we're going to go hit new game. Get started into it. Frosty, welcome. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmount, Mass. Turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmount, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. That's cool. As luck has it, I believe we have someone upon the source of your ailment and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oak Mountain as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes van der Berg. That is freaking cool. That's an awesome start. But as soon as it loads in, hopefully it loads in a little quicker. If not, I'll just edit it out for you guys. But let's just hop right into it. Okay, whoa. This game's a total, like, they are on your ass. Like, they totally just screw you with your head. Let's see if we can actually put on uh, subtitles just in case. Oh, you can do, no, but we want, is it video or audio? Probably audio. Oh, nothing here. Gameplay? Oh, subtitles are already on. Okay, cool. So let's get right into it. What do we got here? Nothing much. Oh, wait. Maybe we can grab something from in here. Okay, we already read that. That was at the beginning. Folding camera. Can I reach that? Oh, it wants me to do this. Frosty, welcome. Oh, we already saw that, though. Casebook contains your main cases, which reflects your overall story progress. You can work on more than one side case at the same time. That's pretty cool. Oops. Can I grab that? Doesn't look like I can grab it. It's fine. What do we got here? Never trust a tourist advertisement. Okay. Guess we'll just keep it keep going. It feels kind of slow, not gonna lie. I don't know. Let me adjust uh Let me just adjust that real quick, guys. Sorry about that. It's just the sensitivity is really really low. That's a little better. Take your belongings off my ship first. Did I not take my belongings? Never trust a tourist advertisement. Oh, I thought I grabbed it. That's well, cool. I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. 
All right, I think that's everything. We have a decent amount of rounds. Oh, triangles to climb? That's interesting. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. About my problem was to deal with the city. Okay. Kind of want to know what's to deal with the city. Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Okay, about my problem. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. All right, well, what about the flood? Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know. All right, where is Robert Throgmorton? Since I can find him. Throgmorton. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Okay, well, I do need somewhere to stay. A place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. All right, how do I get a Devil's Reef? What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Oh, thank you. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. It's ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. All right. Well, I guess I'll just go then. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Like, that's not creepy at all. So this is our map. How big is this place? This place is huge. Oh my god, this place is big. Okay. Oak City Port. What is this? Where's the... Alright, that's the Devil's Reef Hotel. Alright. We have to slowly make our way there then, I guess. What is that? It's like Krakens. What is this guy doing? You good? The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. He's creepy. We're just gonna leave him to be on his own. Under the keel bar. Okay. Who is this? 
I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is final. Uh, uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Okay. I want to know about the visions first, though. I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth, a ridden city, will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Okay, what happened to your son? Jeez, relax. Ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Yeah, who are the Innsmouthers? I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damned city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells. They are everywhere. So they're just... refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. All right. I am curious about his features. He looks like a monkey. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Not Mr. Really. Throgmorton. Let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. Vera? Sorry, did you just say... Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. Okay, this guy's annoying to talk to. Weather, Mr. Throgmorton. It's time for me to get started. 
Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. This guy's a dick. Oh my god. To get evidence and interact with objects and people, combine clues in your mind palace and take photos. A white frame in the camera viewfinder indicates if you are aiming correctly. Read evidence closely to identify important locations and pin it on the map to plan your route. That's cool. You can also place evidence on the map and HUD from the casebook screen. Okay, so I'm in my mind palace, I'm assuming. Right? So we're going to check this out first. Whoa. Oh, he just pushes his way through. Okay. This is interesting. It goes into like a first person almost kind of view. It's like half first person, half third person. We'll go in here first. What do we got here? The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. What else do we got here? Can I open that? What the heck? Shell casings, gunpowder. Can I open this side of the door? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Anything over here? Nope. Let's go back out. Oh, is that one of his visions? That freaking sucks. Someone was cutting fish. So it was a fisherman, right? That's what they were saying. So hopefully we can find something around here that we can make use of. That's a big ass fish. Jesus. Or all the cracking octopi. Anything up here? Oh, this guy's up here. You okay, buddy? Huh. Let's see what you find, newcomer. You're creepy, man. This guy looks like he's losing his mind. Can we talk to him? Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Uh, oh my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. That's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? Tell me what happened. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Throgmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst and he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was at or starve. Alright, where are the others? Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Okay, be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Okay. What happened to Paul? Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Kay, have mercy on his soul. Who's Kay? Who's this Kay you keep mentioning? Outside, of show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. All I'll right. leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or, K, did I kill him? 
I don't know yet, Will. And the police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Isn't that the kind of thing that I deal with, or no? I thought it was. What do we got here? Choo choo. <clears throat> I'm not like I have to get used to the whole like choo choo. <clears throat> of the you have to hold down X to open the boxes. That's different. Normally you don't do that. What do we got here? I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Jesus. That's pretty bad. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Okay, what else we got? I came out of that room. Maybe there's something in here. Press to activate. So that's your mind's eye. Right? There's nothing here. Can I open it up? What just happened? Retrocognition allows you to understand events that happened in the past. Inspect enough evidence on the scene and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. Mark the scenes in chronological order to gain new evidence. But how does that work? So there's a knife. Never seen knives like this before. Master for work. That's interesting. Is he a boat carver? It looks like he was carving boats. So that's what an in's mouther looks like. All right. Is there anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, what is this? This is what it's talking about when it says step into the scene, right? That's interesting. What do we got over here? What's happening? What the heck? So he ran out. Take this, ape face. <laughs> okay. Is that his son? Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah, run! There's a one here. Is this two? Take this, ape face. And this is three? <gasps> What's... Happening. What just happened? So this is one. <gasps> two. Take Do you get to choose what happened? Face. Yeah, run! When Albert Ford Morton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Oh, nice. That's cool. Combine pairs of relevant clues to relevant clues to get evidence deductions that's really cool that was that was unique for sure my head i still hear those voices anything else i'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here what else Five are we missing cards short of a full house is that everything we can get from it <clears throat> oh wait i might have just gotten stuck is that it how do you go into your mind palace? Over here. Wait, what the heck? It says mind palace and it keeps showing up. But mind palace is just uh oh here we go. I went here the first time, it didn't do that. Let's see. Lose shot without warning. Oh, are we trying to pick one up? So, son, Albert attacked the fisherman. Thog Morton. 
are in an ongoing feud. Okay. Combine clues. Whoa, go back. All right, the case book doesn't really tell me much. You can pin the evidence, but that's not really gonna do much. So if we combine these, dangerous, pose a threat to Lewis Finn and his fellow fishermen. Albert Throgmorton was dangerous. Yeah, we know that. So we go, wait, why is it? It's kind of annoying how it keeps taking me out of it. Albert fled when wounded. He was unstable. There we go. I can track down Albert. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after they find the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. Cool. Follow the omens. Mind's eye can reveal omens that guide your way. Follow them to new evidence. That's cool. Albert returned unstable. Yeah, we know that. Let's track down Albert. But we gotta go back outside. Where is outside? I think it's over here. Here we go. I gave you clear instructions. God, you're a I pest. Know. I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. Well, it says to track him, but him. it just keeps sending me back in here. I must be missing something, right? Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. What am I missing? I'm missing something, right? Oh, this shows what you have? That's cool. Not sure what that does. So we have to... Go over here. Key evidence collected. So we'll go over there. So it's over here. See if we can find anything. Can we run or no? Doesn't look like it. Caron. It's an interesting name. Definitely. I mean, it suits the whole thing though. Well, what was the point of coming back here? We have to find. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Okay. Now get out. Jesus, people are ridiculous. Where am I supposed to go though? So it says car on ship. Key evidence collected. Key evidence collected. So I have to go somewhere else, right? How do you? Uh, open up his mind's eye. Let's see. Running, melee. Nope. Interact. Oh, mind's eye's down. There we go. So we can find out where we need to go, right? Because they said... Yeah, let's get over there first. Because it said to uh, follow the omens, right? Where are the omens at? I don't see anything. Oh. Hold up, here we go. Here we go. This is definitely, we're on to something. We are on to something. Right? Because the omen was there. Where else can we go? Is he going to have us go down the stairs? Maybe. Looks like that's probably... No, we'll go further down this way. Don't see anything. There's nothing here. Am I going the right way? We keep having these visions. I feel like I was getting close and now I'm I feel like I'm kind of lost. Over here somewhere maybe. Titania lifeboat. Okay. Can I talk to these guys? They like it here newcomer. Well, get used to it. No one leaves Can't catch a mackerel since it was Innsmouthers took over the fishing business. God, you people are just 
sad. We can't climb. Oh, yeah, we can. Cool. But there's nothing here. Where do I go? Can we climb this? Inspect. Oh, here we go. Something with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? You said something, something with the helmet with gives me chills, helmet. right? Gives me chills. What's wrong with it? Is there anything else? Oh, here we go. I hope someone finds this. My name is Albert Throgman. Throgmorton is my will. I want to warn you, don't go to the depths below Oakmouth. There's unreadable. We should have never done that. Everything should remain in that cave. Professor, I fear what will become of me singing in my brain, detach dancing on my eyelids every time I close my eyes. The cycle goes on and on and on and on and on. In the end it comes. I must warn everyone. I must tell my father he's here. There's nothing more. It says don't go into the depths. Right? But. So what happens if we go into the water actually? What happens if we go over here actually? Here we go. Can we go this way? There we go. Oh, it's not letting me. Come on, let me. Why? Is it like prohibited at this point in the game or what? It might be. Dang, really? What happens if I go in the water? Nothing. So I can actually swim even though I'm in the water. Okay, I thought it wasn't going to let me swim. Well, what's around here? Nothing really. I feel kind of lost. Like, damn, that's a big shark. I did not even see that last time. Cause the omens were over there, but then that was it. Right? There's nothing else over here. We could check the other side. Oh, yep, more omens. What's this? Rotate that. Gunshot, here so we go. The fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Alright. Start running this way. Handprint. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Okay, so come up here. Still running over here. Comes in here. Alright, let's go inside. Whoa, it is creepy in here. Alcohol, metal scrap. What do we got over here? Oh, here we go. What is that? There's something in the pocket. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping around the, about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Interesting. And the blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Down here somewhere? Turn on the flashlight, see if we got anything. Padlocks. Padlocks and weak planks can be broken with a shot or melee attack. The door won't budge. Who's this? One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. What the? What the heck? What are these? What is that? 
Oh my goodness, what is this? Just a hand? That's creepy. One fatal round through the forehead. Is that his son? That's no accident. This was deliberate. That thing is creepy. That's creepy. What's here? Mines Palace. Alright, well, I guess we should look in Mines Palace real quick. See what we got up here. Lewis left the Lewis shot without warning. Albert was murdered. Bar owner is in debt. Nothing. Nothing goes with Albert was murdered. We don't really have anything. Oh, here we go. Anti Throgmorton sentiment. As an in's mouth, Lewis and his people suffered at the hands of Throgmorton, that could be a reason to hate them. Okay. Bar owner is in debt to Lewis. Yeah, none of that. Oh, Lewis may be at the bar. Lewis, the Innsmouther that killed Albert Throgmorton, may be hiding at the bar in Oakmont Port. Okay. Back to the deductions. Albert was murdered. I feel like these two should be... Yeah, there we go. Lewis may have wanted Albert dead. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. And Albert was murdered. Okay. So let's go see if we can find Lewis then. Too bad we can't run, you know? Where's the bar at, though? Am I supposed to know where that's at? Should I tell him that his son's dead? Or what? Probably, right? I've seen some strange creatures around. Yeah, that's true. I don't know what the hell attacked me. Mr. Throgmorton, I've encountered something. What? I don't have all day. Some unusual creatures. And they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them. But we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't keep your weapons handy. All right. Well, I found your son, Mr. Throd Morton. I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. Sorry for your loss. Yep. Mr. Throckmorton. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. Well, it was Lewis. It seems like he was a fisherman by the name of Lewis. He had a gun and pursued Albert after he fled the house. Lewis it is, then. What do you know of him? Turns out you were right. He's an Innsmouther. Yeah. Those filthy scum have done it now. When I'm through with them, they will rule the day they dared lay a finger on a Throgmorton. Bring me that dirtbag, Lewis. He and I are do a reckoning. Do this for me, and I'll help you with anything you need. Oh, okay, cool. But where's the bar? What's this? That's the port. Devil's Reef. Newspaper. Hospital St. Mary. Police department. I don't know where the... See, these are all 
all the evidence was collected. Oh, this one, not all the evidence was collected, I'm assuming then. Oakman Port. What are the one, twos, and threes? I just don't know where the... I mean, I'll try my best, but I don't know where the bar is. My mind's eye isn't going to really tell me much at this point, huh? Oh, there's a bar right here. Bar under the keel. Okay, cool. That's convenient. Let's see if we can find him. Who's Lewis? Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. Oh, no, we are looking for Lewis. What's your problem? Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? I need to find Lewis Flynn. I've, yeah, we definitely need I'm to find Lewis Flynn. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. You want him gone, I can help. You're harboring a criminal. Robert Throgmorton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't what me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I ain't done nothing. Tell that to Mr. Throckmorton. No. No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. Here's the key. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. All right, let's go get him. Where are the stairs? Here we are. I like the setting of this place. It's like, it feels old school, but at the same time not. I don't know how to explain what the? it. Get them! Oh. Where are you, Lewis? Where are you? Is this the only room? Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throck. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. You killed Albert. Yep. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspect it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. First of all, because I didn't say it, this dude looks creepy. I mean, all right, let's just see what happens. Start at the beginning. What happened? We, we, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry gone to the sea. So I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Well, why do you look like what that? What kind of... Uh, why do you... Your face, it's, uh... Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Want to spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're going to see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Yeah, but you're creepy. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. 
I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. Yeah, what's a grand family? I'm confused. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? <laughs> so you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head honchos of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. Alright, I think we're good. I think I've got all I need. Please, Mr. Reeve. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. I'll think about it, yeah. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. What? What is- no. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. So we gotta go to my mind's palace again. See what we got here. I really actually, at first I wasn't sure if I liked it or not, but it's kind of interesting. Lewis was aware of his actions. Lewis was aware of what he was doing during the fight. Lewis was mentally affected and couldn't entirely, I don't know. I don't know. Because he was bribing me with bullets and everything. That, I don't know. What's this? Lewis deliberately murdered Albert. Psychic influence or not, Lewis was out to murder Albert Thornton. He had a motive to the mutual hatred between the Innsmouthers. Throgmorton I must tell Robert Throgmorton the truth and bring the murderer to justice. And this one brings out this one. Lewis was under mental influence. Couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover him or else Robert Throgmorton... No, I'm not going to... First of all, I need... I know it sounds bad, but I need um, Robert Throgmorton's help because I'm having all these like visions and everything. I need his help. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, unfortunately for Lewis, even if he's right or we're wrong, I mean, that sucks. But I gotta gotta cover my skin first. And honestly, he I don't know what this hysteria is if he was hallucinating or what but either way he does have a really big motive to kill Throckmorton so I mean we'll see what happens the murderer is dead the murderer is at the bar just as I suspected the Innsmouther Lewis is responsible for your son's murder he's hiding at the local bar just ask the bartender seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? Trying to find the source of my visions. I... I think I'm going mad, Mr. Throgmorton. I see things. Visions. And I needed to stop. I was drawn here, or guided, or... 
But I believe the source of this madness is here, in Oakmont. You're not wrong, Mr. Reed. An inexplicable hysteria spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Why a geological expedition? Yeah, I'm curious. Geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. And you, you think the flood is unnatural? Any discoveries? Well, isn't that what Albert wrote in his thing? He said they unle found unleashed it? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? The murder and the expedition are linked. That could be true. Any link between visions and hysteria? Cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well. Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. A sleeping giant drowns streets. And a voice calming from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. You think the flood is unnatural? You Probably. The flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. The murder and the expedition are linked. I'm, I think they are, probably. Maybe I shouldn't have turned in Lewis, but I'm not entirely sure. You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. Alright, tell me more about the expedition then. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know better. I am a busy man. I funded the research but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you finished, come see me at the Throgmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Alright, let's talk payment. About my expenses. They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Oh, okay, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So that's what he was offering me. He was offering me money. But we got the frosty welcome done, so that's cool. But if you guys enjoyed this video, since we're going to end it here today and get right back at it, tomorrow if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like comment subscribe guys really appreciate it till next time